Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The jury selection is underway in James Crumbly's trial, the father of the Oxford High School shooter. He's charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter from the shooting that killed four students and injured several others. Prosecutors allege that James did not get his son help for his mental health and provided the gun used in that shooting. His wife, Jennifer, was found guilty for the same charges in her trial last month. Unexpected repairs resulting in two planned closures for Bay City's Independence Bridge. Bay City Bridge Partners are announcing the first closure begins next week, Monday, March 11th at 8 in the morning until the following Friday at 6. The bridge will close again the day after St. Patrick's Day and stay closed through April 15th. They need to fix a movable span and before shipping season. Well, an apparent outage is affecting Meta's social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram and Messenger. The outage started around 1030 and appears to be impacting users worldwide. The most common issue being users being logged out of accounts and being unable to log back in. At 11.55 a.m., Meta reported it is currently recovering from the outage and apologized for any inconvenience at this time. The cause of the outages is unknown. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. And if you were looking for weather data during the outage, the TV5 First Alert weather app always has your back with the latest information. As far as what we are tracking now is the rainfall that's pushing out. We don't have much of it left here. So for the afternoon, we'll still have the cloudy skies. We'll get the towels out. We're going to dry things off and you'll find that it tries to clear out a little bit towards our north tonight, but it just doesn't quite make it all the way into mid Michigan. So it's going to be Wednesday. We start out with thicker clouds from the thumb in towards Flint, kind of getting right up towards Saginaw, Elma, but you can see it's a little more filtered sunshine further north, so that's going to come into play for everybody. So Wednesday, it's looking nice. It's looking dry. Still have your sunglasses. We'll just have some high cirrus clouds that could just add a little bit of cloud cover, but it's not going to be all that much as those are pretty thin clouds. As we go into Thursday, we're still keeping a dry forecast. We will just find that we have some times of some sun and yet a little bit of cloud cover. That's exactly what we see here on the sunshine tracker. You will find that we kind of get back up into these brighter colors for tomorrow and Thursday, but we still have those clouds that come into play. But we are first alerting you to a system. It's going to be here for the weekend, bringing us some rain chances, and that's why we're going to be headed back into those cloudy colors. Your first alert seven day forecast showing 40s. Now we're going to be pretty consistent here across the board besides that 50 degree day for Friday. And then we are back into the 40s for the weekend. We do have dry weather coming our way now, and we will find that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when we have our next system coming into play. So that is going to be something that we will be fine tuning those details to so make sure you stay updated on those. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.